Hello, faith leaders, and welcome to Break Time. Today's proverb is 25, verses 6 and 7. Do not exalt yourself in the king's presence, and do not claim a place among his great men. It is better for him to say to you, come up here, than for him to humiliate you before his nobles. This, none of us really like to be humiliated. I don't think we wake up in the morning and say, you know what, it'd be great to be humiliated today. But there's, there's something in us at times, I believe, that, that even is a fearful of that to the place that we won't take those steps of leadership that God may be asking us to. But then on the other hand, this isn't what Solomon's asking us to do. He's saying, do not do this. And so when we ever get that command, it makes me think, okay, how do I do not do this? And then I get all confused sometimes, but it's our heart that always needs to be researched. It's our heart that needs to be uncovered. And so in this particular passage, he's really talking about pride, thinking of yourself too highly more than you, more than you should. Thinking of yourself, um, when you look in the mirror, you're thinking that I, you are great. <laughs> and instead of allowing the Holy Spirit to bring you to that place where his name is famous, Sometimes we can become more concerned about our name being famous and looking great in front of others. More, we're more concerned about that than we are God's name being famous through us and in us. And so therefore we, we bring ourselves to these places of great humiliation, but I think they're great because it's in those places that we're realizing what's really in our heart, what's searching out our heart and, and what's why, the why behind. We want to be brought to places of honor. Let's allow the Holy Spirit to bring us to those places. And you know, even in our workplaces, we may strive to get the promotion. We may strive to get that place of honor where we're, we're next to the highest of the rank or whatever your goals may be. But research your heart. Allow the Holy Spirit to ask to, to research why you want that place. I mean, is it that place where your giftedness is going to be fully, ex fully be explode? And is it that place where... You're going to minister to more people or is, are you doing it so that you can make more money and become wealthy so that your name be, can become great? Or is it that place where you can make more money so God's name can become great? You can use more of your resources for his kingdom. Those are all great questions. But, you know, God has a way if we're, if we're pushing our way to, to be in that place of acclaim that he has a way of telling us why. And one of the ways I believe he uses it is to bring us to a place of humiliation at times where those around us will, will humiliate us. So wherever you're at, I just pray you'll just continue to ask that wonderful question. Why? And you, my friend, have a blessed day.